Welcome everyone to this episode of Matt's Red Show. A tremendous good morning, good day, good afternoon, good good time in between lunch and when you go back to work time. Good evening and good night. I'm gonna moat, folks. Yarr. I think I'll put on the wee Scottish accent for this episode. We're up here in St. Augustine, Florida. That's right, folks. We're in America's oldest city, folks, dating back to the 1565. The Spanish folks came over to this area and they settled here and the Spanish were being bombarded by the English. I can't even believe sometimes the amount of crazy shenanigans the English were up to, but, and so the, the Spanish people were like, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a fort, and it's gonna be like a castle, and no one's ever gonna be able to take over it. And that's what they did, folks. They built this huge castle. Look at this huge castle, folks. I'm in the moat. There's no more water in the moat, but I'm in the boat. Not a boat, I'm in the moat. Not a boat, I'm in the moat. Now a boat, I'm in the moat. Oh, it's quite wet down here. I wonder if I'm not supposed to be down here. But check it out folks, I'm walking next to a castle. Now, this fort was occupied by the Spanish at first, and then the English and British, I believe, took it over, and then the Americans came in the 1800s, and so there have been all kinds of prisoners in this fort. There's Spanish, English, French. The French came down for a wee bit too, to have a wee smoke and a pancake. Oh, Native American Indians. That's right, Chief Osceola. I think he died in, in this castle, or maybe in this area. People have seen his head floating around in the castle. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, now I sound like, oh, who do I sound like now? Now I sound like uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, we're going to have a wee tea, and we're going to go look at the castle. Oh, I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. Won't you join me today on Matt's Red Show? Oh, it's quite nifty. There's a lot of ghost stories attached to this, as you can imagine, being as old as it is. There's a dungeon in there. There's all kinds of deaths that have happened in this area. As a matter of fact, just beyond where I'm at right now, human burial ground, folks, and unmarked graves everywhere. This entire field, nothing but unmarked graves. This, this hill that the castle is kind of built on was built up by human remains from an outbreak of, I think it was yellow fever or scarlet fever, one of those fevers. It was a bad fever. And uh, yeah, so here it is, folks. Casa de San Marcos. Does that drawbridge actually work? Does it go up or is it just? It, it actually does work. Yeah? It, we, it's unoperable right now. Oh, okay. Uh, but oh, okay. So if you had the weights, you could actually. But they were actually like working functional drawbridges back in the day? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Folks, I found a gentleman here. Are you one of the Spanish troops? See. Si. What age are you from? 1740s. 1740s, the Spanish occupied this fort right here. Pretty cool, anything else cool you can tell us about the fort? It was built by the Spaniards, and this fort was under fire 15 different times. 15? Uh, yet the English and the Americans kept coming down here, um, but they never lost. Uh, this fort always came out on top. Uh, Spaniards did their job very well defending it and building it. So it would never, it was sieged 15 times? Uh, it was fired upon 15 times. Upon There's 15. really just three major sieges, so, you know, not all of them are as exciting as the whole blown, uh, blown up siege, but right, right. still, That's 15 cool. different firings. That's cool, and they're about to fire off the cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, two cannons, actually. Two cannons. Many people over the years have questioned who built this fort? Where did it come from? But I have just discovered that Linda made it. Conquistador. It's a family next to a family of cannons. A lot of people don't know this, but the early Spanish settlers enjoyed brick oven pizza. Who doesn't? Mm, put that pizza right in there. Tell you what. Right in there. Comes out the other side looking so tasty and delicious you don't even know. 
They look like little R2-D2s are posted up on the corners. R2-D2s watching over this fort, man. <laughs> Am I standing on the edge of the Titanic? No. This buoy brought to you by the letter E. E for boo E. No, not A. It's supposed to be R. <laughs> for the boys to sleep in. Nice. A little hay there for you. Hey. They had a heck of a fireplace on this thing though. Good grief. Let me in, man. Let me in. Let me in, man. Let me in. Nice bit of architecture there that they thought of. We'll put a few little holes in there. Why? I don't know. Just because. They had a TV in the castle. Fallen. Let's go take a look up these stairs, folks. Climbing ever so higher. We go up the ladder. You'll notice the stairs behind me, folks. Underneath the staircase is something very interesting, folks. It's not a broom closet, but it is very necessary. <laughs> it's the toilet, the castle toilet. It's actually quite the contraption. What, what happened is there was a pipe there, but I'll do their business in the pipe. The high tide would come in, take all the business out to the ocean, flush the toilet area. Pretty smart. Intruders! Hey, look at those guys in the dinghy! Let's fire a cannon at them! Yeah, let's fire a cannon at them! Let's fire a cannon! 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 Let's fire a cannon!
these little uh, R2-D2 looking post things. There's one on this side, and there's one all the way on the other side over there too. And supposedly, it's the lantern of one of the old soldiers striking up again and taking his post and walking back and forth, still guarding the castle fort. Supposedly, in this castle, or in this fort, there's a room that was just discovered when the Americans got to the fort. When they found the room, they uncovered a bunch of bones. It's in one of these rooms down here, folks. Found the spooky area, folks. It's through this door right here. Through this door. Through that door. Through an even smaller door. Right here. In this area, folks. Then you have to duck down through this door here. Here we are, folks. We are in what may have been the dungeon. They found this room in the castle ages ago. It was kind of buried off. And they found it and they found a bunch of bones in it. Kind of spooky. It's supposed to be very haunted in here. Got one light. It's dark. It's very quiet in here. It's very dark. It's very solitude in here. Quite possibly could have been some areas along the wall that had some areas for chains and stuff. Yeah, so never know. Could have been some people that suffered in here. If anyone suffered in here, peace to you this day. May you find peace and rest for your souls. get in right there. See the people's feet, you have to duck down to get in here. If you ever watched that show Ghost Adventures, uh, I think it's called Ghost Adventures, they did an episode and they were in this room. Had a lot of crazy experiences. I have to go through this little hole. I can barely fit through. What are you measuring again? It's electromagnetic energy, that's what ghosts are made up of. Are you getting anything in here? Well, I went in there earlier and then I got a 2.4 spike. Mm -hmm. Usually it's supposed to be between um, 0.1 and 0.5. So when I went in there, I got a no 2.4 spike. So. Really? Can I go in there with you? Corner where like all the holes are on the wall. This is where, where they chained up the prisoners. This is where they chained the prisoners up, folks. Hey guys, we're here in supposedly the most haunted place in the castle, and we're in luck. There's a girl named Michelle here. She's a ghost hunter, guys. She's got her equipment here. I don't know if you can see her. There's Michelle. She's from Illinois. She's from Illinois. She does this on her own, just for adventures and stuff. We're gonna see if we can find some ghosts in here, folks. She's got her, her uh, equipment. Her, what's the equipment called? This is called the millimeter. It measures electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic energy, folks. We're gonna see if we can find some ghosts in here. Just hit a point six. Just hit a point six. Would like, that be from my camera, or is that? Nope. Oh yeah. Okay. Nothing. Go ahead and touch it. Okay. You have anything you want to say? Talking to this? Do you do this a lot? Uh, I've been here a couple times. Uh, How long ago was it that you, you uh, had that spike? Was that just today or was yeah, that really? Yeah, like not even 20 minutes ago. Really? Yeah. So, and what's weird is like this stuff can be calm and then it can go like right this way. That's crazy. And like I said before, if you hear my cool chills that you feel on you, don't hesitate I and mean, you can go over in that area and see if there's okay. anything. So you had that 0.6 spike when we were in here, but nothing else. Right. And then, like I said, over in this corner, I got a 2.4 spike. Maybe I'll find a chance. Can you 
Can you come and talk into this orange light? We're not going to hurt you. I'm going to put this on the ground. If you can come and touch this antenna out of here. 2.3. Really? 1.2. 0.6, Can you do that again? Can you touch it again? Oh my gosh, it did that when I walked away from you. Let me walk away from you again and see if it does it. Go ahead, you can touch that, can't you? If you can hear my voice and you know what I'm saying, go ahead and touch that. Don't be afraid. You can come and talk to me. Or if you just need comfort, I'm here to comfort you. Can you tell us your name? Go ahead and touch, touch my hand. Also, if it's not the meter, the bottom number, mm -hmm. if it changes like a lot, then that's an also indicator. Okay. Can you touch my hand? Can you touch this like how you touched it before? That's how we know you're real. Can you come and touch this? Come up over by me. I'm not going to hurt you. I know you must have been put through hell in here. And if there are any malevolent spirits here, you're one of the prison guards that sealed these people up in here. I'm sorry, but I'm not here to comfort you. Because I think that's completely wrong. You shouldn't, no one should harm other people, whether they be living or dying. Do you feel like anything near you? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. No. Do you? I scared him off. Oh, two point, two point oh, one point six, one point two. Who are you? It spiked when I was like, we yeah, must have scared him off. Right I was like, we must have scared him off, and like it spiked right then. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, man. This is Michelle, folks. She's got her EMF equipment. She turned it off, but we were just in there checking out some stuff. Thanks for letting us join you no on your little ghost hunt. Appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you. Good you luck too. ghost hunting. Thanks. And check out Matt's Rad Show. You'll be on it. Off goes the ghost hunter with her mom. Closing time. What? What? Locking it up. I don't want to be locked in here at night. They're locking up the fort, folks. Notice, folks, I got my Goonies shirt on. We got some fellow Goonies here. <laughs> Goonies never say die, man. You saw anything good? No. Not I yet. got creeped out. We went, we went you got creeped the, out? Uh, we went to the... You went room. that little, yeah, that's creepy, yeah, right? I couldn't stay in there. I got hot and I had to run. I know that was one of the rooms they went into. And they did. The end of that. There was a there was a girl in here and she had an EMF uh, EMF thing. I tagged along with her and it spiked a couple times. Nothing major, but a couple times. Well, I have an app on my phone for this now. Yeah, it actually, taps has an app. <laughs> taps has an app. When when Jason. Fellow Goonies, folks, we're awesome. Yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, some, some crazy folks saw me walking around with a camera doing exactly what I'm doing right now and they stopped me and said, hey, what you doing? So I wanted to, I wanted to give them a chance because they seemed really cool. They got an own, their, their own show, their own travel. You feel, but anyways, if you want to go to St. Augustine, look these guys up. Hey, hi guys, this is Jahaira from Finisterre Travel and this is Finisterre is a Spanish word for the end of the earth. So no matter where do you want to go, create a tourism, do something different, create a memory that you will never forget and leave a legacy in the places that you visit 
Look for us in Finisterre Team, that's in Facebook, Finisterre Team as Facebook, or FinisterreTravel.com. Thank you. Cool, check them out, guys. Go travel, the end of the earth. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Cameraman. Castle. Cameraman. <laughs> is the castle. The fort that has never been taken, folks. It stood strong, never backed down. People were safe inside this castle every single time, my friends. It's a tough castle. There's a lesson in that. Yeah, kind of like Rocky. <laughs> kind of like that speech from Rocky Balboa. He's like, he's like, he tells you something you already know. Life ain't always rainbows and butterflies. It will beat you down and keep you on your knees if you let it. If you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. Blaming other people if they don't get it or saying I didn't get it because of this person over here or that person over there. Cowards do that. Life ain't about how hard you can hit, yo. Life's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. <laughs> it started raining, folks. It started raining. It's pouring out. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> what are the odds of this going away soon? Ooh, we got rained on, folks. If it wasn't for Andy and Jackie coming and picking me up in their big 4 by truck, I want to give a big shout out to Andy and Jackie. Thanks, guys, for for saving my show, for saving my camera from getting drenched. Would have been about a 10 minute walk in the rain. And so thanks guys, Andy and Jackie, big thanks to you guys. Too big F-150 truck.